Bye, Dash. We love you. Be a good boy, okay? You and Auntie Jen get along. Hello, welcome to the Lynn Imagination channel. This is going to be the first time in a long time that we're doing a weekend vlog, but it's not just any weekend. It is Sean's birthday. Woo! His birthday's tomorrow. I'm taking him to Alyeska Resort in Girdwood. And fun fact, that's actually where we stayed before we got engaged. So on Sean's golden birthday, <laughs> which feels like a long time ago now. So back in 2010, he was turning 22, of course, on May 22nd. And that's also our engagement anniversary. All right, friends, I hope you enjoy watching this Alaska vlog, and I hope to do more of these vlogs in the future. So our first stop is at Fred Meyers to get some gas. So if you're not familiar with Fred Meyers, you might recognize the name Kroger's. So Kroger's owns Fred Meyers, and it's one of our favorite stores to go grocery shopping because they have like everything in there. So the drive to Girdwood is about 35 to 45 minutes depending on how fast you drive and then of course also if there is construction. Uh, in Alaska unfortunately <laughs> our summers are pretty short so this is when they do the majority of any type of road work and I'm not sure if they're doing construction. They probably are so we'll just we'll see when we get on the road what uh, the conditions are. All right, we've made it to our first stop for the construction season. Uh, I noticed that there's a lot of cars coming back this way and Sean pointed out that it's Sunday. So of course, everyone that was camping or having, uh, I don't know, doing their Alaska things, <laughs> they're headed back to town now because they gotta be back at work. Yay, my baby's turning 35, 35. 35 <laughs> it just boggles my mind that we're like in our mid 30s um because i feel like time just flew by so quickly but i also feel like we're we're still young i don't know how to explain it <laughs> but we've been together since end of 2008 so we've been together for a long time and i'm just so eternally grateful that i found i found my person the love of my life I love you in every storyline and if you've seen twice charmed on the Disney magic you already know you could try to rewrite Cinderella's story but her and Prince Charming will always find each other and that's that's me and Sean here <laughs> So right now we're driving down the New Seward Highway and it is one of the most beautiful drives you will ever go on in your life. Uh, I feel really blessed that we're, we live in this amazing state. This always is like a bucket list item for travelers and you know, we get to call this place home. Sean and I were both born and raised here in Anchorage, Alaska and we're still happy to call this place home and i look forward to showing you around our state like i haven't done we haven't really done like an alaska vlog in a while so i'm happy to be able to start putting this into rotation we actually decided to make a commitment not to travel this summer because last year we we did a lot of traveling and i feel like we missed out on summer so this year we're not going to miss out on summer we're going to enjoy it <laughs> and yeah well, that was a fail. I totally turned on the camera after we already drove past the construction site. So you didn't get to really see what uh, was in the impact here. But they bring it down to one lane and it's our turn to drive through. And as you can see, the, the other side is a, a long line of cars waiting to go back home to Anchorage and beyond. It's crazy to think that just in a couple of weeks, this is all going to be filled with lush green leaves. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. So this is this valley here, Sean and I love coming here during summertime. And when we go camping, which we haven't done in a long time because I don't know if I can do tent camping anymore. But anyways, Willowa Campground is where 
uh, our go-to spot was when we would go camping. But they also have really cool day use spots uh, along this side of the road where you can go and have like a nice picnic and grill some food. So yeah, definitely looking forward to doing that and bringing Dash here. All right, we made it to our first spot. Portage Glacier. So this is where Sean and I got engaged. This is actually also where we went on our first date. Our first date we went to Sea Galley and then we took a nice drive in the evening to the glacier over here. It looks very different so I'll post a picture what it looked like 13 years ago. So this is actually where Portage Glacier used to be. I think Portage Glacier is like down there now. Yeah, like where you can't even see it. You actually have to take a boat ride to go see the Portage Glacier. This is where Sean and I got engaged 13 years ago. <laughs> Are you still happy that she asked me to marry you? Yes. <laughs> right now we're just sitting on a big rock and enjoying the view. It's a little bit chilly, but we're sitting next to each other, so we're warm. <laughs> It's always a good time coming back to where our relationship began. But now we're gonna go head to Girdwood. And I think from here it's about a 15 to 20 minute drive. Sounds right. Oh my gosh, we gotta warm up because it was cold. And I could tell who the tourists are because they're, they're dressed in uh, thick jackets with hats and gloves and yeah. <laughs> So we're on our way to Alyeska Resort and as you can see there are a lot of cars pulled off to the side here because it is hooligan fishing season so as the weeks progress there's going to be even more cars parked along the side of the highway. All right we are turning onto the Alyeska Highway. Hello Girdwood. Long time no see. Actually, uh, so me and the Alaska Disney girls, we stayed here for Friendsgiving back in November. We had we rented like an Airbnb, but this is the first time Sean and I have been back here together in a while. I don't even remember the last time we were here together. Do you, babe? Pre-pandemic. Pre-pandemic, dang. Dang. Yeah, I'll have to go through all of my files, but it is a cute little ski resort town. I don't ski or snowboard, but I do love the look. I just, I love cozying up and enjoying the scenery. Here we are. Here is the back of the property. Yay, I'm so excited to be here together. Yay, we just parked the car and we have a good spot. We were able to park in like the main parking lot because when it's busy here, you'd have to park in the overflow parking and it's a, it's a trek <laughs> to get over here. So let's go ahead and check into our room. Dang, with the amount of clothes and snacks that we brought with us, you probably would have thought we were here for like two or three nights, but we're here for just one night. We've got the a big bag of food and drinks in there. And then I'm excited to try out this backpack. So my brother got me, gave me this uh, Baboon to the Moon backpack. It's been a bag that I've wanted to try. So thanks Harold for giving it to me. And we're about to walk into the hotel. So one of my favorite things about this resort is this mural. And it has like the Aurora Borealis at the top there. Oh, I was like, where's the bear? And there's a bear here. Sometimes they put like, like during the holidays, they put like a Santa hat on it. <laughs> so 
our room is on the third floor. I think I just booked a standard room because Sean and I are the type of people that don't really care about what kind of view we get since we're barely in the room anyway. So I'll show you what our room looks like in just a little bit. All right, let me give you a quick tour of our room. Here are the amenities that is offered at the resort. We've got some shampoo, body wash, lotion, as well as conditioner, and then some unscented face soap, as well as a body soap bar. And then here is the bathroom. And then behind the door here is this towel rack warmer. This is also a great spot to uh, dry out your swimwear. And then here is our mirror. Plenty of storage space. Oh, we even have some robes here. Perfect. There's an iron and an ironing board. A few hangers, an extra pillow up there. And there's the luggage rack. And this is also where the hair dryer is. And then this is what the room looks like. So I've heard that they are going to renovate all of the rooms here at the property, which I think is long overdue because like I said, all of this looks the same from when Sean and I started staying here back in 2009. So long overdue, but let me show you what our view looks like. Even though we just have like a standard view, I'm really loving it because we have this beautiful view of trees. And as you can see, there's still some snow on the ground in a couple of areas. Right now we're just chilling, unpacking our stuff, and then we're gonna go have dinner. I'm really excited for dinner tonight at Double Musky. We haven't been there in a long time. Uh, they serve Cajun style food and the portions are humongous. I can't wait to have some probably like steak and they have like an amazing array of appetizers and we can't wait to take you along our foodie adventure there. Now that Sean has unpacked our stacks, let me show you all the goodies that we brought. I feel like we were, were packing like how we did when we were younger. <laughs> so lots of junk food. We've got some chips here, some candy, beef jerky, and then, oh, we also brought some cookies. These are the birthday cookies from Costco, so I'm really excited to give them a try. And then here are all of our drinks and some charcuterie boards. All right, we are off to dinner. So Sean made a reservation for the pool. So we're gonna go swimming from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. I'm actually kind of surprised that they still require reservations. So change of plans because apparently Double Muskie is closed on Sundays and Mondays and the website was not updated because I, I looked at the website to see. <laughs> but here's where Double Muskie is. So I think we might eat at our other go-to, which is Jack Spratt. Mm -hmm. uh, should we hop out and take a picture? Oh, yeah. So how we knew this place must be closed is because this place is now popping with parking. Uh-huh. All the way down there. Yeah, people will get here like an hour before they open to wait in line uh, before they open the doors. So that's how we knew there was something, there was something up. <laughs> oh my God. So I think it's funny. <laughs> I'm so glad that we can laugh about this. <laughs> Plan B, guys! We are on our way to Jack Spratt, and like I said, it's a restaurant that we also enjoy, so not all is lost. And if that plan fails, then <laughs> I guess we'll just head back to the resort and try the new restaurant that's over there called Forte. So the parking lot being full is a good sign. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have to wait too long to eat because I'm starving, I'm hungry. <laughs> so we're all checked in. The gentleman said that it's about a 10 to 15 minute wait and we requested to sit inside. Are you excited, honey? Yes, she likes the menu. <laughs> so my go-to plate here is the bibimbap. I really love it. It's so good. It's very hearty. All right, we just got seated inside. And I think we already know what we want. 
Sean and I are going to probably share the brisket and then I'm gonna get the bimbap. And I think Sean's gonna get a sandwich. Probably a burger, so we're sharing the brisket. Mm. We ordered a lot of food, so we already <laughs> squished everything to the side. Sometimes when we go out to eat at restaurants, I want to be like, can we sit at a four person top? Because we love to eat. All right, first step are the yam fries. These are like a go-to of ours when we get come here. Here is my bibimbap. It is still sizzling. My favorite part is when the rice at the bottom like crisps up from the hot stone. And I think they make this sauce homemade, so can't wait to try it out. And Sean's burger is on the way. And the brisket. And the brisket. Dang, honey, I hope you're hungry because that brisket is huge. <laughs> oh my goodness, we just got done eating dinner and it was very, very filling. Yes. My favorite part were the yam fries. The brisket was also really good. I wish I had asked for rice though instead of, what did they give it? It's like grits. Grits? Yeah, I would have preferred white rice with it, but now I know for next time. <laughs> uh, we're gonna head back to the resort now and walk all these calories off because I am really, really full. How was your dinner, hun? It was delicious. What was your favorite part? Uh, the yam fries and the brisket. Are you copying me? <laughs> Goodbye, Jack Spratt. Thank you for coming in clutch when our dinner plans fell through with double musky. <laughs> so dinner turned out to be a happy, unexpected turn of events. We're really happy that we dined here because this is, like I said, a place that we enjoy eating at too. But yeah, we'll see you guys at the resort. Bye. All right, three minutes later, we are back at the resort. So we decided to take the long way to our room. So we're walking towards the back of the resort. And we're also gonna be able to walk by the Nordic Spa. Can't wait to take Sean there tomorrow. So behind me is the Nordic Spa. There's the tram. Unfortunately, it is closed every year. It's like closed for the same uh, dates. So we never get to go up there around Sean's birthday. But there is a nice restaurant up there called Seven Glaciers. We love eating there. So we decided to come and chill in our secret space. <laughs> and as expected, nobody's here. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna let our food digest. Uh, and then we're gonna go swimming later tonight at 8 p.m. What time is it now? 6.30. 6.30, so we've got like an hour. Enough. Hour and a half. All right, so we got some ice cream. So they have wild scoops in the gift shop. And I decided to try the sweeter than dirt. And it is described as chocolate coconut base with Oreos. And what'd you get, babe? I got vanilla. All right, friends. So we sat in the lobby for about 30 minutes enjoying our ice cream. Then we came back to our room to get ready for the pool. And we've got these lovely Alyeska robes on. And we'll see you at the pool. Okay, we're back in our room. It's about 9.40. We shower and freshen up and gonna start getting ready for tomorrow. We gotta dig into all that junk food that we brought with us so our load is lighter to carry out of here. <laughs> we had fun at the pool. There was probably like between 20 and 25 people that showed up for the time frame. I was actually really surprised. Um, but you know, there was plenty of room so it didn't feel like uh, too busy at all, so. All right, so we'll see you guys tomorrow in the morning. Bye. Night. Happy birthday, honey. Thank you. Sean got us some breakfast burritos. All right, goodbye to this lovely view. We are headed off to the spa now. Sean already brought our stuff to the car. Uh, our timeline is a little bit... <laughs> 
different than what I had imagined it to be, but I'm glad that I got to sleep in. So I was just like, oh yeah, we're gonna get there at 8.45 and da 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 Well, it's like 10, 15 now. <laughs> Sorry, honey. It's okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you at the spa. Happy birthday, honey. Thank you, dear. So I can't film outside, but I will show you like a little glimpse from the windows that are here. And then I'm gonna put my camera away and my phone away and then enjoy our session here. But this is what it looks like outside. All right, it is time for lunch. So we're eating at the Two Trees Bistro. I have the avocado toast, and here's the frittata, and then I have the passion fruit refresher. How's your birthday going, honey? It's great because I have you. <laughs> All right, honey, what did you think? We should come back. Yay! <laughs> so it was definitely so much better coming on a weekday. Uh, and I'll give you like a full review once we get in the car. All right, we are back in our car. Oh my gosh, it was so much better than when I was here the last time. When I came here, it was a Saturday in November and I'm like, oh, it's not gonna be too crazy because you know, it's cold outside, but no, it was crazy. So I would definitely say that the service has improved a lot more. Um, I do still have some critiques though. For example, like the showers, nobody was cleaning the showers. So I still found that disgusting. <laughs> but overall, the experience was so much better. And what did you think, honey, going for your first time? I liked it. There was a lot, of do, lot to do and it was very spaced out. So it didn't seem too cramped and yeah. Yeah, so I would say aside from our lunch break, we were there enjoying the facilities for about four hours. So like, you know, $30 an hour, <laughs> I felt it was worth it. So per person it's 118 and I feel like we could have stayed even longer, but my honey has to go back to work tomorrow and we have to go run some errands, like go to Costco. So yeah, thank you so much for following along. I hope you enjoyed our Alaska vlog and celebrating Sean's birthday with us. So thanks again, guys. Bye.